Students from Central Visual and Performing Arts High School were in Jefferson City today sharing their stories of survival after last October's fatal school shooting. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley has more on their pleas for tougher gun laws. Those survivors shared their music, art, and stories inside the Capitol Tuesday to remember the student and teacher who were killed back in October. But the biggest reason for their trip, their call for action. You are less than 20 years old and you fear for your life every time you open the front door. Four months later, the tragedy is still fresh in their mind. I look at my teacher, Miss Fostage. She looks so serious. That's when I knew this wasn't a game. Back in October, police say 19-year-old Orlando Harris, a former student at CVPA, opened fire inside the school, killing 15-year-old Alexandra Bell and PE teacher Jean Kuchka before police shot and killed him. But then I heard the first shot, then the second shot, then the fifth shot. I counted up to 16 before I stopped. Tuesday, more than 50 students came to the Missouri Capitol to make their voices heard. I should be worried about moving off to college, worrying about what I'll wear to prom, worrying about who I'll give my graduation tickets to, not how to make the voices of the dead heard. Asking lawmakers I to listen medicine. and to do something to curb gun violence. I shouldn't be up here preaching to adults, adults, how to do their job, how to protect kids. Imagine if it was your kid. Imagine if it was you. Police were called to the suspect's home before the shooting by the family, who found the firearm and wanted it removed. Police determined he was legally able to possess the gun. That fact frustrates those who survive. I do not feel safe in my community. I no longer feel safe in my school. Students also showed their feelings in other ways. It, don't, it represents someone who is too vulnerable. Because I really don't like talking about how I feel. I like showing it in pictures. I like showing you in my artwork how I feel. Those who made the trip say actions speak louder than words. Although we appreciate your thoughts and prayers, we need action. I think words can only do so much. The governor has asked for $50 million for school safety grants in his budget request to lawmakers. Republicans, including Parson, have previously said that the state doesn't need any stricter gun laws. Instead, prosecutors and judges need to do their job. Reporting from Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.